from GDP Studios, and we are at the Randolph Theatre with Concrete Vertigo Productions, and this is uh, a great production called Ruby, Resk, Ruby Red Burlesque, and so I am with the, uh, the producers, the writers, the directors, absolutely everybody who's involved with the show, Cameron and Cameron. Good evening, guys. Yes, hi, nice to see you. Yeah, hey, always nice to see you. You know, you know what, these guys have been going for like the past uh, week and a half since the opening night, and uh, I just tell you, it's an amazing show, it's a lot of fun, and I just want to ask you a question, like I had read in the program about how this was, uh, you know, one of your favorite movies, but where did the dark side and the sexiness and all that come through for you guys? Um, well, me personally, I think that it's just because The Wizard of Oz is such an everyman story. So it's the stock story, the stock character. You've got your like hero that goes on a journey, meets people that changes the person for the better. And I just think that in 2016 and being our age and whatnot and, you know, um, being sexually expressive, we were able to transplant that sort of every man's story into a story about sexuality and coming into a sexual awakening. So it's weird to say, but it's kind of a no-brainer. Like it was just it worked really well. Like I think I think it's the type of story that could literally you could take any part of it, turn it on its side and spank it. So And now Cameron, you were the one you put the music together for the show? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was amazing. Like just on the Yo, buy Body of My Own on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was it was a lot of trial and error. I think that was the biggest thing. It was trying absolutely everything until we got it and until everyone was over the moon about it. You could tell when you brought something into the room how everyone felt about it. And it was just a matter of making everyone feel empowered and everyone feel sexy and everyone feel like they wanted to sing at the top of their lungs. Right now, now I noticed that you know because there's a lot of high power energy in there, and you guys are so relaxed right now. Is that is there a reason? Like, is that just because we're at the end of the show for today and just a little bit tiring? Or? I don't want to say it's because I've had a lot of gin, but like okay. it's very relaxing. I think it's honestly just because I've screamed my lungs out. Honestly, okay. it's one of those shows that, I mean, as as exciting as it is, like I'm so I'm ready. I'm ready to just like let take a breather. It's like it's a big party, you know. Yeah, but I would also like to add that like every show like. We try to watch the majority of every show, and like at the end, we're just cheering with everyone else, and like we get exhausted by like the end because it's so it's such a journey as well with Dorothy. Like it's just a great, it's a short journey, but it's a very well, I don't know, it's a it's a good journey. Like it's, it's a fulfilling journey. Yeah. It seems like this is going to be one of those shows that could become a cult hit just because it's just so updated. And I mean, right from the very beginning, as soon as the, the soon as as Glenda walked onto the stage, that was it. The audience started going crazy. And let me tell you, they weren't drinking that long. So obviously, there's a lot of great energy in the air. And you know, I want to know: Are you going to be taking the show somewhere else after the run here at the Randolph? Um, I mean, in an ideal world, we'd like to. It's one of those things where you know the company is still relatively new, so. Building um, our base and building the people who want it, like the client base that wants to come see it, and you know, I I think there's another life Ruby Red, like the original one was six years ago. Um, I think definitely at some point in the future there's going to be another one. Um, if you're in Las Vegas, hit us up because we need money to produce this in Las Vegas. I read something. That's where you want to go is to yeah. do something in La that would be amazing. That that, is, you know what? That could be a great show. Yeah. You know. And now, just add, for the fun of it, what hotel would you want it to be playing in? Caesar's I, Palace? No, no, that's Celine's okay. territory. I, that's um, the Tropicana or something like that. No, something up in, no, 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 like an old school, like in the old school Vegas. If I was going to go old school, I think I'd go the Flamingo. Okay, there you go. The Flamingo's the nice. There you go. Yeah, the Flamingos, that'd be very cool. So uh, now the show is running until Saturday night. Saturday night, we have six more shows. We have Thursday, two, sh or Wednesday, Thursday, two shows Friday, and two shows Saturday. Oh, very good. Now, and you can always find everybody at uh, www.com. Concrete Vertigo Productions, and you can find out what's going on in the future for these guys. And Cameron and Cameron, it was a pleasure to watch the show tonight. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I do. I absolutely loved it. And you know, that was one of my favorite movies when I was growing up. But I want to ask you a question, just for the fun of it. There's been word that Lady Gaga is going to do a remake of A Star Is Born, another do Judy Garland. Now, what do you think about something like that? 
maybe you should write the music. I mean, that's what I was gonna say. I was like, as long as I'm signed on to like have some musical contribution, like I'm all for it. No, Gaga's great. I think Paige Murray should be the lead of that show. I agree, I agree. She is. Uh, she was absolutely wonderful tonight as Dorothy. She was wonderful. So charming. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, I think everybody that was a part of the show really contributed and put something together and just brought everybody out, brought the wildness in everybody. So um, I want to say thank you for both of you for inviting us in and uh, I look forward to your next production and maybe even be able to get here another night this week. Yeah. Alright, so everybody thank you. This is uh, Concrete uh, Vertigo Productions. Cameron and Cameron, come and see Ruby Red Burlesque here at the Randolph.